Hey everybody, and welcome to another Hunters Connect video. On this video, I'm gonna to try to answer the question, how do I call waterfowl? And more specifically, how do I call ducks? So the most commonly used duck call while duck hunting is going to be the mallard hen call. And if you wanna add a little bit of realism, I'll teach you how to do the mallard drake call at the end of this video. But we're gonna start with just your standard duck calls. If you're going out and you're starting a waterfowl hunt, don't feel like you have to spend 100, 150, 200 dollars on a duck call, go find one from somewhere between 15 and 25 dollars and learn how to blow that first before you go dive head in and spend a bunch of money on a really expensive call. Most of the time the less expensive calls are going to be easier to blow and um, easier to learn on. I have two different calls here. I have a single reed which is going to give me a little bit more uh, volume, a little bit more range. I'm going to use that for things like the hail call which I'll, I'll get to and I have a double reed which is going to be a little bit raspier. I can blow it a little bit softer. You can basically make all of the same noises with both of these duck calls, uh, but one's just going to give me a little bit more volume and uh, use in different situations. First call I'm going to talk about is the hail call. Now the hail call I'm not going to use a whole lot unless I have birds at a distance that I think I can, I can call to and maybe get them to look at the decoys and come in. So this is going to be a really loud call from 5 to 12 notes somewhere in there. But I'm going to start with a really long note and then the cadence is going to get quicker after that. So a hail call sounds something like this. Now, uh, that's your basic hail call. Again, I'm not going to use that a whole lot. It doesn't sound a lot like a duck. It's mainly just to get their attention and get them turned your direction. And then you can go into a real calling set where you're going to use more duck-like sounds. So this is your five to seven note, just a little bit softer to just kind of make those birds commit. So you just want to sound like a bird sitting on the water, calling to those birds in the air, letting them know that it's safe to come into the decoys. Next, I will go through what's called a, just a single quack. So a lot of times when you have um, a bird coming in, you'll just hear the hen just quack, 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 and you want to mimic that back and call back to them, so it's just going to be So again, just want to sound like a single quack. You can do a couple of them, a few of them in a row, kind of talk back and forth with those birds overhead. The next call I'm going to talk about is a comeback call. So let's say you have a group of mallards that's coming into the decoys and then they turn and, pa and pass away. So now this is going to be a more excited call. They can't, the birds have come in, they've made a loop as they're going away and making that bank. I'm going to get on them a little bit harder with the comeback call. So that's the comeback call. Just a little bit more excitement in it. Hopefully uh, talks them into when the next time when they come around to commit fully to the decoys. So finally, on the mallard hen, I'm going to talk about the feeding chuckle. Now this is just a real quick pace call, and the way I do it is I make a ticka sound. So start real slow, ticka, 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 and then work your way up in speed, and so you get that air movement and the airflow and the tongue movement to make that call, or make that sound through the call. So if, now, I've been calling ducks for a long time, so that took time and practice, but believe me, if you just stick to it, uh, it'll all come to you. So. Now, sometimes I'll add a feeding chuckle with a regular call, so I'll kind of bounce back and forth. Now if you really want to go uh, big time, just put a call in each hand and then bounce back and forth so you're going to sound like multiple ducks. So this is what my calling sequence would sound like if I have birds coming in and I'm working them in.
So that's my typical sequence when I've got birds working the decoys. And again, you hit them with the hail call to get their attention. When they're getting closer, you're using softer calls and just sounding as much like a duck or multiple ducks as you possibly can. Now, finally, if you'd like to add even more realism to your calling sequence, that's where this little guy comes into play. So this is just a whistle. It's almost like playing a kazoo and you're gonna give it a bzzz, bzzz. So if you've ever heard a mallard drake fly by, or if you haven't, the mallard drake sounds an awful lot like this. So practice that call. That's actually a pretty easy one to mimic. Um, in the field, you can listen to it when you've got a bunch of birds flying over. You'll notice that the drakes are making that noise. And uh, if you can bounce back and forth between a hen call and a drake call, it just, again, adds a little bit more realism. So that's your basic rundown of how to call the most commonly used duck call, which is a mallard call. Um, hopefully that answers your question on how to call ducks. And be sure to check out all of the other videos here at Hunters Connect and subscribe to the channel.